Bryce Harper, we all know about the big contract and living up to that in, in Philadelphia, but you look at his numbers, uh, actually headed to a career high and runs batted in. So he's even been in the leadoff spot. Uh, I think it was eight different games this year. So uh, less than you expected, about what you expected, his performance with the Phillies this year. Time will tell. They need to get into the postseason, and that's how the fans will judge him. They're all about rings in Philadelphia and team success. Now, for me, He's having a phenomenal year, especially coming up to that first contract, being in a new situation, a new team with a lot of expectation that's built around him. He's going to finish with 35 and plus 100 RBIs. So I love his swing. He's battled. He's worked hard. And they love him in the locker room. And that's something different that you heard than in the Washington yeah, National. They really enjoy him in the locker room. He works hard. And I tell you what, he continues to play hard and keep that energy they can sneak into the postseason. Well, the one thing we look at is you see the numbers right here is the batting average, right? We think for three hundred thirty-some million dollars, he should be hitting three hundred each and every year. The one thing that Bryce Harper is doing this year, producing runs, right? Ninety-eight RBIs. Mm -hmm. I think if he drives in hundred, that'll be the second time ever in his career. Right. So if this is a down year, I'm telling you what, man, I can't wait to see the great ones because right now he is doing everything that he is supposed to be doing right now. Let's be honest, man. You move to a new neighborhood, yeah. you got to move to a new Huge city. The whole night. Just had his first baby. Yeah. A lot of things going on in that man's life right there. I'm telling you, man, you got to be proud of a guy like Bryce Harper mm -hmm. to step up and play the way he has this year. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, obviously, if he's a part of the Phillies getting into the postseason, that'll lessen some of the anger that fans had about uh, the big contract. But what does it say about the Nationals? Not a knock necessarily on Bryce Harper that they're doing well as he has moved on. Very resilient in that locker room because yep. we all had them mailed out a long time ago, especially Martinez and, and in the locker room, losing control. They battled back. They got healthy. They started believing. And I think a lot of teams started overlooking them and not giving them the respect. The rotation stepped up, took the pressure off the bullpen, and all of a sudden throwing quality every day. And they started to get on the run, and they fought back. So commend them. Well, when they signed Patrick Corbin to that big deal this offseason, we were all saying, man, this team has the chance to be nasty. Mm -hmm. What we're doing, we're seeing it now. And also, too, man, give kudos to Davey Martinez. Absolutely. From where they were to where they are right now, that doesn't just happen. That takes a leader someone to stand up to say, hey, man, we need to turn this ship around. And I think he was one of the guys that was instrumental in that happening. Yeah, not only do people think the Nationals are going to get into the postseason but make a serious run. What about the Phillies? Have you got to give me a yes or no right now? Did they make the playoffs? Don't put that evil on me, General. <laughs> oh. uh, you're leaning no. No, 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 no. no, okay. no. It's going to be close. They're going to give a value and effort, yeah. but I think it's going to be short. I think as this group plays together, next year will be the year continuity. They know health-wise they had a lot of guys they lost. I think next year is going to be the year they honestly make a run. Yeah, next year, uh, you know, last year they had great starting pitching. This year hasn't been as good as what they thought. But let's be honest, man, you're bringing over somebody like Bryce Harper, yeah. Real Muto, a lot of new faces over there. Missing McCutcheon, too. Yeah, that's the leader. huge, right? Mm -hmm. These guys are really starting to get to know each other. I'm with Train. I don't think the postseason is in their future this year, but next year, man, watch out in Philly, man. They're going to be nasty. When Charlie Manuel is the manager. Ooh, oh, okay. <laughs> uh -oh, that's a wild <laughs> prediction. We better take a break. I that wasn't in the script. <laughs> uh